All righty, welcome back to the Bamwang and Bible. I'm taking the lead today. Harry's going to be the little co-host. Just going to take a seat right here. And we've got our man, Jakey Watts, in the middle seat here. Thank that was a great so intro, bro. Thanks, bro. Out. Not as much energy as you, but I'm trying my best. Thanks for coming in, Jakey. Really yeah, appreciate bro. your time, bro. I know you're a busy man. Jake the snake. <laughs> busy boy, busy boy. Um, you bought presents too, bro, straight up. Yeah, mate. Straight in the good book. Straight in the good books. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, we'll quickly just touch on your background. Obviously, um, we got you in here for a bit of a chat. You're a local Newcastle artist. Um, Grass artist, artist flat too. out at yeah, the moment, aren't you? Hey, me, bro. Um, yeah, maybe just give uh, the viewers, our six viewers, bro, just a quick seven thirty now. second. Uh, After, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm back in the building. So seven. <laughs> just a quick thirty second intro, on, pretty much on about what you do at the moment. At the moment, man. Um, basically, I. Quit my full-time job, just taking on full-time as an artist. Um, it's been nothing but positive so far. I'm just waiting for the day that I just get something that just brings me back to earth. <laughs> um, but, yeah, basically I just paint. I paint murals, paint canvases, do a few digital work and logos and stuff, yeah. like businesses and whatnot to keep me afloat. But I don't even know how close hold is to my mouth. Yeah, no, yeah, get, get nice and close. Get nice and close, bro. No, definitely. And, um, close and intimate. <laughs> that's, about, that's about it, really. Just try to keep myself busy. Yeah. Paint as much as I possibly can with two kids in the building. Makes it a bit tough. Yeah, from what we've been seeing, man, you're obviously killing the game from what me and Tommy seen. We're That's outsiders, pressure. man. There's fucking heaps of work that goes into it, obviously, yeah. especially your big murals and things like that. Like, I guess from that perspective, like mur- mural-wise, what's it take to, you know, set something up or like your start stuff? It's, it's all Before you actually yeah, start. It is, yeah. When you look at them big, you're like, holy shit, that might have taken a bit of work. <laughs> it's pretty, pretty straightforward, eh? You just got to set yourself up so you don't going to a job underprepared, if that makes sense. Yeah. So if you start early by getting the getting the gauge from the customer, sorting all your products out and stuff first, like your paints and whatnot, yeah. um, and just having an outline detail of what you've got to do, um, it makes it a lot easier. It's more just a time-based thing. Like you could be sitting there for days on end painting. Yeah. But you just chuck the music on, chuck some good music yeah, on. And just How long would it take to do a mural? Like, do like... One section. Say, for if I wanted my yeah. fa- my face here <laughs> and Tommy's face, my face there, in the middle. and you're in the middle, <laughs> how long would that take? Uh, yeah, probably roughly a week, I reckon. That's that's the tough thing with the work like line of work I do. It's a lot of portraits and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. It's so, only you two, obviously. Exactly right. So it does make it a lot harder because I got to make the portrait look exactly like the person. Yeah. So, yeah. but um, other than that, it's just yeah. I dare say a week, week tops, and that's just me. Here every day from about ten hours, I reckon. Shit, yeah. God damn, man! Good. You get nah. much of a break in between that, or is it just oh flat? yeah, yeah. I suppose not really. <laughs> <laughs> once, once, you, once you commit to a meal, you want to get it done as yeah, fast true. as you possibly can. Yeah, because um, you don't want to obviously the customer. You don't want to keep them waiting. Yeah, and I deadlines don't wanna, to me. Yeah, yeah. I, in my head, I'm a very all or nothing kind of person. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. once I start, I've got to finish it. Like yeah. I can't be dabbling in and out kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. man. What about um? Beforehand, what were you doing before you went full time for art? Before I was managing five soys down in Derby Street, the old cocktail bar. Pretty sure, pretty sure Shake you made me make, a couple of cocktails <laughs> in my day. Would have seen music <laughs> yeah. so, not me, um, I'm not about that life. <laughs> <laughs> Clean and crisp, baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, nah, um, I was managing that for about oh, 45 years, I think. Yeah, oh, wow. Yeah, and that's like I was still doing that when I was trying to get into the art game as well. Yeah. Um, which was, I just couldn't commit to the art. Like yeah, being a, literally a manager, you're there five to six days a week. Yeah, exactly, always there. Yeah, so and I just bit the bullet and was like, nah, stuff this. I can't stand making cocktails. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, I literally couldn't stand a cocktail. I don't drink them. Yeah. I hate making them. Yeah, and then just even just conversing with people by the end of the tenor, I was just getting over it. Like, yeah, true. Yeah. They could be nice, and I just literally just wouldn't want to borrow. Yeah, them yeah. Because they're in the building. Yeah, <laughs> it's gonna go. <laughs> was there was there a certain day, or, or was anything that happened in particular where you finally bit the bullet, or was it yeah, the day you 100%. just realised this is it? I'm um, done. You probably yeah, like you know when you go on a holiday, um, family and my partner and the two kids took them to Gold Coast. Yeah. And um, I'm originally from around near the Gold Coast, so I was just having having fun for about two weeks. I come back. And then the first shift back, I just walked into soys and I just smelt that smell. <laughs> and I was just like... The lime juice, man. Yeah. <laughs> I remember saying to Dad, like, on the trip, because he was there as well, I was like, oh, imagine if I just decided to take art on full time. And he was like, oh, look, mate, if you think you possibly could, then it could be something later down the track. Yeah. As soon as I walked into soys and smelt that smell, man, I literally just made it. the call right then. I called Dad. That was it. 
asked him and then called Sarah, my partner, and then that was it. I literally Sorry? just messaged the boss, said, can you come in tomorrow for a chat? He was heaps of understanding. Yeah. I was good mates with him before. So yeah, yeah. They were top blokes, so they kind of just definitely – they already knew I was doing the art and yeah. did the art full time, so it made it a lot easier, that little transition. Yeah, but, sweet. Yeah, no, it was good. And then you just jumped straight into full time. Was there any – um, yeah. Was there any scares there for a moment after you quit? There was a massive one. Um, so two weeks, two weeks, two months after I went out full time, yeah. I completely lost my Instagram. So I'd already built up in that we time. We will touch on yeah. that. Yeah. Definitely going to touch on that. That was, that, was, oh, that was a make or break kind of situation. Yeah, Especially two 100%. months after I've just made the call. All confident. Like yeah. everyone supporting me and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Made the call and then, <clears throat> yeah, that happened. And I was, yeah, I was very lucky to get out of it. And that, yeah, I can only imagine now. Uh, we were touching on this a little while ago, yeah. but um, if we had lost our Instagram, bro, even just now, if we lost our yeah. Instagram, I wouldn't know where to start, <laughs> where to where to pick yourself back up and buy just the get, followers. Get, <laughs> yeah, yes, yeah, so come to my page, buy <laughs> someone else's account, <laughs> put our name on it, or yeah, something. Yeah, hundred percent. I honestly wouldn't know. Yeah, um, no. All right, we'll go back. We'll probably come back to um, yeah, losing good. the Instagram account a little bit later on. But There's plenty to say about that. One. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> hurts. Yeah, it still hurts now. It's probably too soon to talk about yeah, it. it is. <laughs> um, I just wanted to talk about your rugby league background as well, man. Yeah, so, man. obviously, uh, Harry and I have come from rugby league background. For we sure, played yeah. um, down in Canberra and up here in Newcastle. Yeah, beauty. Um, it's actually where I met the poor bastard. I've been stuck with him since. Yeah. <laughs> Grateful. <That's laughs> Grateful. <cool. laughs> um, where'd your rugby league career start? I uh, started... Oh, the funny thing is, I've lived in every state in Australia. So when I was young, have you? Like, oh, yeah, really? every state in Australia. So when I was young, I started playing out in um, Lismore, Ballon area. Yeah, yeah right. Boy. Yeah, so I was I was there, and then got moved to Kununurra, which is in the Kimberleys. This yeah. is literally no rugby league played there whatsoever. <laughs> so I was playing AFL. I was I'm oh really AFL. Yeah, so um, went into AFL, and then just luckily found myself in Darwin when they had rugby league playing for the state teams and whatnot. Yeah. And then from Darwin, I actually got picked up by the Sharks, HG Ball. Yeah. Um, which was, yeah, luck. I don't even know how that happened. But, uh, yeah, just <laughs> packed up everything, um, moved away from mum and dad and all that just to go play HG Ball with Cronulla. Yeah. Unreal. Down in Sydney. Down in Sydney, yeah. yeah. Um, and then, City boy coming out. <laughs> yeah. But then that, that the funny thing is mum and dad then moved to Cessnock while I was in Cronulla just to be uh, a little bit closer. Yeah, yeah okay. Um, and then so I got dropped from... Cronulla after SG ball season in the 20s. Yeah. Cut, distraught. As been as there, oh, been yeah. there, bro. Hurts. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yep. Still just, hurts yeah, me. Oh, man, I just remember the feeling. I was like, oh, this is – I can't do it. I can't do it. Yeah, anymore. yeah. But um, moved back to Cessnock and then started playing first grade with Cessnock goal winners. Um, yeah, the goalies. Yeah, the goalies. <laughs> <laughs> We're not allowed to say this. Yeah, I was going to show you. Sponsored by South. Yeah. So, yeah. South yeah. Castle. <laughs> um, but, yeah, from there I was lucky enough to make it back to Sydney. I went to – um, the Rabbitohs played 20s for the Rabbitohs in yeah, Sydney. Yeah, beauty. Holden, and, um, was that back when Holden Cup Holden was? Cup, yeah, 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 right. Um, what position were we playing? I was playing 5'8. Actually, the funny hey, thing yeah. is, yeah. Show Ball and player, go, baby. Yeah. Show and go. go. <laughs> the funny thing is, man, that um, the first day of pre season for Rabbitohs, I actually had a heart attack. So I had a minor, what? Yeah, Holy shit. Yeah. I had a minor heart attack um, on the f- literally first day of pre season. So I'd missed all of um, <clears throat> pre season for them. And then Somehow lucky enough to train for two weeks before the first game against Ra- uh, Roosters. Yeah. And got picked. I oh, got no idea. That's yeah. insanity, man. What happened with the heart attack? Just out of nowhere? Just, yeah, at training nowhere. or? At training, yeah. I just, they said highly exerted myself. It was kind of like, they put it down to like a horse run itself to death. <laughs> Talking about the pushing moment, the limits yeah. for preseason, yeah, trying to get that in. start. <laughs> that's that all in um, mentality yeah. he's talking about before. <laughs> uh, yeah, exactly right, man. And then the, that's it, yeah. And then that happened. And then I was just lucky enough to come through pretty unscathed. And then yeah. over the rest of the season with the uh, Rabdos, and then actually made the jump over to the Roosters because I was playing New South Wales Cup with the Jets, and that's when the New South, Newtown Jets was over the Roosters. So yeah, there was a bit of bit of head turns there because I'd made a f- heaps of mates, like especially in first grade and stuff at the Rabbitohs. Yeah, um, and then to go from Rabbitohs uh, to Roosters that to was the exact opposite. The exact opposite. <laughs> yeah. Go to Roosters. Yeah. <laughs> they talk about the rivalry all the time. But that's. Legit. It's real, yeah, is it? Legit. Yeah, I don't think we felt much of that. With yeah. back in Canberra, you didn't really have a, a rival team. Everyone hated Canberra, so it's just. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone hates That's because you're away from. No, yeah, no one wants to travel down to Canberra to play exactly. in the cold, man. Free. Yeah, exactly, exactly. I love the cold, man. Like Give me it. the cold over here oh, any day, yeah, dude. Yeah, I perched up under this aircon all day. <laughs> yeah, it's nice and cold in here, man. Oh, it's so good. Man. <laughs> yeah. um, so after after all of that, when did you move back up to um, to Newcastle? Yeah, after so had the season with Rabbitohs. 
then had two seasons with the Jets. That was uh, literally the Jets moved over to Cronulla. Yeah. Halfway through. And then just got sick of it, tried to talk to a few people in Newey. Yeah. Ended up moving back to play, try and play New South Wales a couple of nights, actually. Yeah. And then got pneumonia during that pre-season. Jeez, you had a bad run, bro. My and, God, um, man. Then just, well, I just couldn't, yeah, I was just like, no, this isn't for me. Just went back and played with the Cessnock. Yeah. And <sighs> that's it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, not for me, but like, yeah, before it was when yeah. I was younger. <laughs> I was like, I was earning heaps more. And then, yeah, like, true. Yeah, I moved back then. There was no real cash in it. Took it away. Yeah, and I just kind of lost a love for the game yeah, after that. Enough. And obviously, like, it's a bit hard when you're not playing higher up level or mm. where you used to be to kind of get your head right up for games and whatnot. It's so a massive change, isn't it? It is a yeah. massive change. So what was the repercussions for the heart attack, bro? Like, do you have any heart issues now? No, none at all. So, you know, with the Pfizer, like, needle and stuff, yeah. Yeah. there's a lot of heart conditions that can come from the Pfizer um, and all that kind of stuff. So I had to go get checked out fully just to make sure I could get it. Yeah, that um, makes sense. And then, like, since that, um, since the first one, I had, I literally had the second one after the first round of footy for the Rabbitohs. Yeah. But then since then, that was it. And That's I it. literally haven't felt anything. Like, every now and then, I'll get a bit of a chest pain and I get real... real, real worried about it. Chance, but yeah. I'd get so, like, yeah. paranoid about that. Like, I've had a little, um, couple of like, anxiety attacks because of it. Because yeah. I remember that Just, feeling. Yeah. 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 And, um... But other than that, man, like nothing else. Like I got all the tests That's done, good, everything's bro. sweet, which is very lucky. You are in peak condition. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Try to be, mate. You've got to stay fit. <laughs> Running after two kids all the time. Oh, yeah, true, yeah, man. Outdoor, bro, we we'll definitely have to touch on that soon. Oh, no. um, I'll just quickly <laughs> touch on, You looks like you made your comeback this year. Yeah. yeah how, long, <laughs> how long away from the game? Uh, I had two years away from it um, completely. We just cut ties with everything. Yeah. We just had two years um, away from it, but literally went back this year. What made you come back? I just wanted to play for my son, to be honest. Yeah. I, yeah, I literally just wanted to, even though he's young and stuff, I just remember my dad playing footy and yeah, just being, getting to go to the games and whatnot. Yeah, that's mad. Um, that is mad. I dig that. So I just went back here, played two games and then taught me hammy. <laughs> 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 so, but, um, but yeah, that's the only reason, pretty much. Man. Fuck you've had a tough run, man. Uh, it's, been, it's, been, it's been a bit of a shit go, but um, just fucking roll with the punches. I'm literally where I'm at now and I wouldn't want to be anywhere else, to be honest. Well, that's yeah. the thing, bro. At the end of the day, man... <clears throat> How many people play cup? How many people play 20s? Yeah, you know, holding holding like, cup, yeah. Exactly. There's something you can hold yourself exactly for right, a very man. long time. So. And it's, it's always good to like, yeah, when you get in conversations with people who actually play footy and who actually play NRL and stuff, they look at you, you don't think, they don't think you've been there, but they're like, yeah, I used to play like yeah, that before. And like, oh, yeah, bullshit, there yeah, you go. You got yeah. And then you're like, about. run at me straight, eh? Hey, come out, yeah, yeah let's go. <laughs> the old line and board. <laughs> oh, man. All right, so we'll touch on the footy background. We'll touch on your art background a little bit. Um, just kind of wanted to ask about where exactly that passion came from. Passion, literally, I was that kid at school that was always just drawing his arms, in the, just drawing in the, the books, books and everything. The old like, uh, just dollar always. sign. Yeah, the, the <laughs> yeah, S. That old trick, yeah. <laughs> yes, that was a classic. All the time. Yeah, but, nah, I, just, I was always that kid that was just getting in trouble for drawing himself, drawing these bloody books and not doing actually actual, actual work. work and stuff like that. <laughs> but mum, actually, mum was a really good artist as well. Yeah, okay. Um... So I used to look at all her stuff all the time and try and copy it and whatnot. And then just, I'd never, I always wanted to be a tattoo artist as well. Yeah. Like just going up through that thing, just drawing on everything. Yeah. Um, but I knew I was going to take, I, I needed money then. I'd just coming out of school. So I'd yeah. take on an apprenticeship because it wouldn't get paid much. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Rest playing footy and stuff. So I was just like, nah, I'll put that to the backside. I did, I did go um, do my stalking too. You've obviously. You did do a bit of tattoo arting. I did, yeah. You had a little... Um, <laughs> yeah, I was trying to keep that on. Yeah. Got him, got him, <laughs> got him. You had a little um, <laughs> tattoo yeah. gun back yeah. in the day. You still got it? Yeah, bro. You still do? got it, yeah. Unreal. Like, How'd you go? Off eBay. Yeah, it's crap. Off eBay. Yeah, off eBay, <laughs> It was off eBay. You done, many? Um, <laughs> Have yeah, you done, many? I've done heaps, man, to be honest. Like, uh, funny thing They're is... They're looking all right. I went right <laughs> back on the Instagram and he was doing some, like, some massive Gee, pieces. Can you some big ones? Yeah. Yeah. The funny thing is, man, when I was at Cronulla, that's when I first got it. And I, to this day, I still think that's why I got dropped because they told me at the welfare office to come and tell me I couldn't do it anymore. Really? Yeah, because I was tattooing like Andrew Fafita and stuff. Like, it was, and you're I kidding players, me! I sort of got. And um, so they come around and I had to sit sit down with them, tell oh, them I couldn't do it anymore. Yeah, and then I ended up just doing it in the house. <laughs> <laughs> As uh, if you're getting in trouble for tattooing. Where were you doing the tattooing at? Uh, just at yeah, that shark house, just in the garage. <laughs> that's <laughs> unreal, yeah, man. Yeah, I think obviously. If something bad happened, like someone caught AIDS or something, yeah. Me. But I was always safe. I always knew exactly what I was doing. Yeah, and yeah. All that kind of stuff. But um, yeah. It's, it's what funny. you? What did Surely you? Surely there's kids doing worse things, bro. Yeah, exactly right. I uh, tattooed some rosary beads on his chest, like, 
Oh, I've got every time it comes up on the TV when they're in the changes. Oh, you still pointing me, bro? Yeah. <laughs> to the I little fella. That, bro. That's yeah. mad. That's your dad. Up do you there. do much of it at the moment? Or? No, I haven't done any for a while. Um, it's pretty. Like, once you get the hang of it, man, that you can do so many things that you can't do in art. Yeah. Like, with the paintbrush and all yeah. that kind of stuff. Like it's it's really cool. Especially it's a lot easier. You just chuck the stencil on. Yeah. Yeah. You just trace over the stencil. Oh yeah. really? Yeah. The main. Can thing you do like is, fine. Like fine stuff? No, probably not fine stuff, just because yeah, it's yeah. a real niche. Like yeah, kind of stuff. Like, That's still mad, but... Yeah, the hardest thing is actually just learning how to shade properly. Yeah. That's why you see all the tattoo artists who are gun. They're literally just no shade. shade so yeah. good. And yeah. it just makes it look so realistic. Yeah, yeah right. Whether that's where I struggled a little bit. Yeah, but okay. Yeah, it's a pretty cool little. That's accident. mad. Who else yeah. did you tattoo out of the boys there? Um, who else did I tattoo? Oh, there's a couple of like, boys who were playing, uh, like Ricky Latelli. Yeah, yeah. Um, Gun. Like Manu Brown and stuff like that. Yeah. A couple of boys that were in the Shark House. And How old were you when you were tattooing these boys? 18, it would have been. <laughs> that's amazing. Yeah. Just <laughs> little crazy. kid yeah. comes actually, in. Yeah, would have been 17, actually. <laughs> that's oh, that's unreal, man. How did yeah. it come up in conversation that you were a tattoo artist, or you just took the gun in? I wasn't even. Yeah, I literally. Well, yeah. I remember the um, this chick just bought me it off eBay one time. And eBay, I, man. Yeah. <laughs> and I was what like, yeah, shit, yeah. And we just took it on, and then just try to learn on YouTube and all yeah. that kind of stuff how to do it. Yeah. Um, and then all the boys just got around it. All the boys just got around me and just loved that. it. Yeah. Obviously, when like you don't want to pay for a tattoo because tattoo is so expensive. Yeah. So the boys were just like, oh yeah, if you know what you're doing. Yeah, yeah. Go and for I started it. doing them and just took off, man. Just it's a bit of a jump from. Did the boys cut, give you a bit of cutting cash? all the boys' hair? Right? Yeah, <laughs> no, no, I, I kind of just I just did it all for free, just as the experience kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. Um, <clears throat> which was yeah, it was just free canvases coming. Yeah, in. Yeah, a bit different to fading the boys up. <laughs> well, everlasting. Fading yeah. the boys up in the old. Harry settle, <laughs> settle. Hey, yo. <laughs> <laughs> bit different to fading the boys up in the in the change rooms, eh? <laughs> Oh man! All right, back on track. Though. Sorry about um, that. <laughs> any pieces you done yourself or? Uh, no, nah, just a couple on the feet. Yeah, um, right. I've done some, done a few touch ups on the. Who, who done yours? So I got a couple done in Bali. One yeah, of the local boys, done there too. Matty Comerford did the oh, yep. side, and that's how Boz gets his done. Line True. My chest. Yeah, he's he's quality. He's good, man. He knows what he's doing. Eh? And that Jack's um, pretty good too. Eh? Yeah, but he's a gun. Yeah, gun. Oh, they're no, actually. No, I think people. they're coming back. So yeah, they are. The newy, um, which is fucking quality. Yeah, I think they got their getting their own. Show yeah, going. Had it. yeah, definitely. Which will be, I think, yeah, they'll get heaps of work because they're both actually absolutely gun. Yeah, hundred percent, bro. Beautiful Should plug. Get a free time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> wouldn't, wouldn't mind Surely, though. sponsor the show, please. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so you went from working, obviously rugby league. You've come back up here, straight into Five Sawyers, pretty yeah. much. And then when when did the painting start? Painting started. Were you always just doing it and. In your yeah, spare time? A, a little bit, yeah. I was, I was really into beach scenes and painting beach Yeah, scenes. I was looking at um, a lot of those. Yeah, you had a couple so on the surfboards, eh? Yeah. I, mad. I, I do that every once in a blue moon. Like yeah. Just paint like a beach scene or a surfboard or something. Yeah. And that's when the Instagram started like five years ago. It was just like a bit of a kick to the side. Like, yeah, I'm yeah. just going to have it there so I could post it. Never posted anything. And then last year in lockdown, um, just had a bit of time because I was, wasn't working for about a month there. I think. Yeah. I was like, oh, I'll give it a crack, see how we go. I wasn't thinking anything. I was just doing it merely past time, just yeah. pick up the paintbrush and shit again. But um, Something to do. Yeah, but it just took off. So to kick everyone, Yeah, everyone just wanted little pieces done here and there and whatnot. And then the partner, and the partner's literally a saviour, set up the website and everything for me so I didn't yeah. have to worry oh, about yeah, anything yeah. and that. And then we just got heaps of traction and I was just finding myself doing murals and working at Soyuz and doing yeah. murals and stuff. And I was like, trying, trying to catch breath. Trying to catch breath, yeah. And I was like, fuck this, I'm... It. Yeah, it's gonna it straight in. That's mad. You pull the trigger, bro. That's yeah, yeah. I'm just like, <laughs> that's mad. Well, the thing Still is, yeah, like I look at other artists, and they've been doing it for like 15 years, 10, 15 years. Yeah, like, and I've literally just bi- I bit the board after a year. Yeah, and yeah. I was like, fuck. And your yeah. work's probably just as good. Would, as yeah. this. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't want to say it, humble guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's what he meant. So My work's Brad. better than this. Nah. <laughs> 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 I believe you, bro. Yeah, yeah, no, I just look back at it now, and I'm just like. How, how have you decided just to do that after a year kind yeah. of thing? But I'm so lucky I have, like, literally wouldn't have it any other way. No, nah, man, at it's moment. absolutely unreal. Yeah, Especially just to do that out of um, lockdown. And even just that year, not that you weren't fucking good when you started, but just how much you've fucking yeah, improved the since then, Yeah, man. definitely. And like you, like, you can, like you said, you can see it in the work kind of thing. Like absolutely, bro. And like just it's repetition. just the style changes a yeah. little bit as well. So for me, I have a real hard time believing in myself. Yeah. And like, yeah. so if I see something that I really... Oh, I can want to do I won't really try it out and I yeah. wasn't 
So um, you kind now, of like, like now I do. Now yeah. I just literally try whatever I possibly can. Yeah, just back yourself, um, run yeah, straight out. Kind eh? of thing. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> who wants to smoke? Who cares? <laughs> but um, yeah, I, I literally just had a real hard time doing that. Yeah. Um, so that's why I started doing those like porches with the shapes kind of thing at the yeah. start, just because yeah. they were easy. I mean, yeah. They were easy. But then yeah, something clicked and I was like, no, we'll try to try do this, and it ended up turning out all right. And just kept going and going and going. What's your favourite piece to paint, man? My favourite piece to paint, um, definitely the murals, bro. I was going to say, Bron, murals, Bron yeah. and those are the ones yeah. I can see. They are unreal. It's got to be the murals. Even the Jordan paint I've got in mine is just... <laughs> yeah, yeah, see that, yeah. I, that Jordan one kind of set a different tone for me. It kind of took it to the next level. Yeah. Uh, oh, no, I got Dennis, actually. I think, yeah, I got uh, Dennis. Yeah, I think yeah, that's... Yeah, yeah, Robin was right. dizzy, yeah. yeah. Oh, so yeah, good. See, I, I want to do a mad new Robin piece because I look back at the old stuff and I hate it. <laughs> no, I, can't, like, oh, I can do better kind of thing. Yeah, I literally can't stand it. I, like I get that from even our first collection, but we yeah. still love oh, like, man. The yeah. fuck <laughs> we do? Who bought that stuff, yeah. man? Honestly, <laughs> that's, yeah, that's the thing. And yeah. that's, but now it's just yeah, it's all about backing myself now, and just obviously I bit the bullet to take it on full time, so yeah. I've got to. I would tell myself to give it yeah, a crack. Yeah, exactly, bro. Yeah, you got to go nice. all in. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that I, you can see, like even that Jordan painting you were saying, like <coughs> the whole background. It's, it's yeah. so immersive now as Definitely. well, man. It's and just completely just, different. I'm just trying to incorporate heaps of different stuff into my art now, yeah. just to obviously appeal to the wider range. As yeah, well. because obviously it's good because I really love NBA footy, yeah, all that kind of stuff, yeah. um, rappers, and so. So it's easier culture. for me to do them. Like, those artworks are so much easier for me to do. That mural you, you did for the barbershop of um, Biggie's. Oh, yeah. The, um, bro, and it's gone. What it did he do with yeah, it? I don't know, bro. Did you get a pack? Nah. I haven't even asked him, actually, to be honest. Because um, I was selling everything out of there. Yeah. Well, the good thing Biggie. was we, <laughs> we set it up um, <laughs> so we could take it off and take it with him. It was all on plywood. Um, yeah, because like, I remember you set it up, you drilled it in. I was like, oh, here we yeah. go. Um, so we could take it with him. It was just smart on his behalf because... A lot of people won't be able to take their murals if they get them at yeah. businesses. Straight yeah, on the yeah. wall. <laughs> yeah, it's like you pay all that money and then you can't take them at the end. Yeah, that's yeah. an idea. There um, you go. Yeah, right. <laughs> I'll throw on the panel, bang, bang, Jack bang. Yeah. Beauty. So that's why I try and offer the customer now too. Just, just so they have an option point to take of difference it. Yeah, yeah. Kind of yeah. Thing, so they can take it with them if they want to. Yeah, yeah. smart. Um, but yeah, no, that, that was definitely the favourite mural I've ever done. Yeah, that's that was pretty early actually. That one of the Last Supper. That's that definitely was a the sick favorite. barbershop yeah. too, man. That was cool though. Oh, cool. Yeah. What happened to it? He broke his foot. Ah, oh, big. Yeah. They'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> They'll take you down. <laughs> um, all right. So, with all of that, man, we're just talking about pretty much your niche. You're talking about you love um, footy players. Yeah. Ob- obviously, NBA. Us, obviously, market. three yeah, one of us. Yeah. Yeah, that's <laughs> washed up, baby. <laughs> washed up. <laughs> we nearly made well, it. I've been washed up for six years. <laughs> <laughs> um, is it hard to stay in your niche with so many people obviously demanding this and that? And is, they yeah. want stuff that obviously you probably don't enjoy to paint. But yeah, for sure. You've got to find that balance between yep. earning your income earning and... <laughs> yeah. Earning the bloody... Yeah. Earning the dough. And then the thing is, yeah, and it's... I do a lot of stuff that I don't post as well. Um, just because if I do waver too far, it can go that way. Yeah. I'll yeah, just right get right. a lot more people asking for that certain thing. Yeah. Like there, there is a lot of artworks that I don't particularly enjoy doing just because I don't like the way it's like who yeah, it's of or that's what so kind yeah, of thing. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> and you'll see I try and obviously do the same in every artwork, give it everything I've got yeah. kind of thing. Don't worry, customers, relax. <laughs> but, um, just kick back. Obviously, I, I work my best when I'm doing something that I want to do. Yeah. It's just a natural thing. Oh, man, that's kind of thing. a fact like, of life, really. Yeah, like, say, if I'm doing LeBron, favourite in an NBA player, I'm going to make that thing. Yeah. That's, I possibly can. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. hopefully one day later down the track, he gets a hold of it, sees it, and you blow up 100%, man. That's, yeah. that, that's, that's the smart move. Too. Oh, I can yeah. message him if you want. I was just texting him before, bro. <laughs> yeah. He's been screening my calls lately, <laughs> oh, but I don't bro. know what's happened. Oh, okay. <laughs> he must be busy, bro. <laughs> <laughs> He's playing to that. He's still I'm playing all right, man, for his age. I don't know how... What is he? He's been what? in the NBA yeah, for how many years now? 19. Yeah, nearly this year. Yeah. yeah, 20. He'll go to 20 next year and then he'll yeah. call it, I reckon. That's insanity, bro. I'm nearly 25, bro. I feel like I can barely deadlift oh, anymore. I can't do nothing. <laughs> I'm broken. I'm 23. I'm fragile, man. I was struggling to get off this chair. <laughs> 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 Making those old man noises. Eh? Bump it right <laughs> down the bottom so you just get straight up. <laughs> and shit. Uh, yeah, man. No, that's mad. I think you've done a really good job with <clears throat> keeping your, or keeping at least your Instagram to your yeah, niche, you know, like yeah. it all looks relatively the same. I think that's amazing with that niche kind of thing is if you keep your socials like that. You're just going to attract those attract people. That, yeah. Exactly right. Yeah. So you, 
whatever you're putting out there, you're just going to attract more of that kind yeah, of stuff. Hundred like percent. At like a, during that little lockdown period, we just had. I was just attracting canvas work. That was what I wanted because yeah. I couldn't do murals. Yep. But now I'm getting on the mural train again. Murals are starting. Yeah, to everyone's just, just demanding. It's whatever you post. Yeah, basically. sweet. And then whatever someone says you can do, they just want it. How so do you I'm, um, how do you juggle? Obviously, all the murals and everything you got to do because you're the only painter. So you, yeah. there's no one else doing it for you. You got to post the content. Yeah. So content wise, it's it's a lot easier with the partner. She does yeah. she does heaps um, for me, especially back at house, all that kind of stuff. Like content wise, I've always got to I always want it like to look a certain way. That yeah. I want it to yeah. Look. Yeah. But she helps out heaps, man. Like she literally sets up all the Shopify. She deals with all that. She packages them for me. Yeah. Like, and I, I need it. I definitely need yeah, it. Yeah. Hundred percent. Obviously. Um, but you only do so much, man. <laughs> yeah, exactly right. And uh, that's the thing too. Like, if I had another set of hands to paint, it'd be mental. Yeah, you know, literally just take on every single job you possibly. Yeah, do. exactly. Hard yeah. to trust someone to do the exact. Same yeah, that's job the worst thing because you're, yeah. you know, you see what you want to see and you want it to look the one way. Exactly. Yeah. they might have another idea, and it's just like, no, nah, man, this is my business. Yeah, no, 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 yeah, yeah. no, I needed to look exactly like this. <laughs> yeah, and the funny thing is about trusting people. Like, I take my stepson out to paint with me sometimes. Yeah, he asked to paint on the wall, and it's just. Struggle for me to let him paint on the wall. <laughs> <laughs> like, I give him the biggest space to paint, and it, like, I just have this feeling that he's just going to go over the whole thing. Uh-huh. <laughs> you just got that. You need that control, eh? Yeah, yeah, I need yeah, that control, fair, especially man. when it comes to actual paint and stuff. But all yeah. the other stuff, like I'm not very tech savvy and all that kind of thing. So yeah. the partner Sarah deals with all that kind of stuff. Yeah, man. Just like my partner. Just a beautiful. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Bro. that's why we're together, bro. <laughs> yes. That's why we work well, man. Let's go. Cool. Like Don't leave said. me. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> How's it um how's it juggling with the two kids as well? Yeah, it's pre- it's not too hard, man. Like it's pretty good. Like they're always full on. They're always yelling and screaming and stuff, but it's yes. If they weren't there, I wouldn't even know what to do with myself yeah, kind of thing. Yeah. So you just make it work. Like we both me and my partner just make it work. Like if I send them to school one day and they're not meant to go. Yeah. I need to get out and do a mural or something. And like my partner's literally starting at uni. She's got a job. She's yeah. probably got almost more on her plate than I do. Yeah. So. Yeah. It's, That's it's just about working together, I think. That's it. Basically. Finding the compromise. Finding the compromise. <laughs> I love that dream, story. Any lovers out there? <laughs> 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 Preaching out. All lining up, bro. They're all about man. 90. Um, I'll, I'll re- really quickly go back to um, you <coughs> losing your Instagram account. Yeah, I know yeah. it's a tough string to pull, bro. Yeah. I don't want to make you cry on camera. Nah, but it's a good deal. Um, I'll cry anyway. <laughs> <laughs> How'd you lose it? Uh, to be honest, I got no idea. Yeah. I literally still don't know to this day how I lost it. That's even more frustrating. Eh? Well, that's yeah, exactly right. Like at I least if you knew, you could just fucking yeah. take and it, it was, to that. That's that time when I was flying too. Like I was literally on back to back murals. Everything was running so smooth. Mm. I had heaps of traction on the website and all that kind of stuff. And then I just woke up one morning, couldn't get into it. Like it just wouldn't load. It was yeah. coming up like um, I still had the photo there, but it just had no posts and whatnot. Yeah, right. And then. I left it for a bit, left Heartbeat it. Heartbeat starts yeah. going there. Eh? I left it for a bit. Not the Probably. heart attack again. <laughs> <laughs> Anxiety. <laughs> but, um, and then, yeah, just by the end of the day, it just wasn't working. I was far out. I need to do something here. So I literally sent Instagram six messages a day yeah. for the next, like, I mean, read up on it all and that stuff, how you can kind of get back. Sometimes it takes like 30 days. Yeah. So during that 30 days, I was measuring them six times a day, just waiting for that 30 days to hit. Because once they say the 30 days hits and it's not back, it's, it's pretty much gone. gone. Yeah. Wow. Um, <clears throat> so I'm very lucky that I just decided to make a new one. Because if I didn't decide to make that new one, I would have literally been like a whole month behind yeah. on schedule. Like yeah. literally. But and going back and saying that, all the Newcastle, like you boys like reposting it and whatnot and just... Everyone just get behind me again. Yeah. It made it so much easier. Yeah, there was some unreal support behind that. Massive, it was good yeah. to see. <clears throat> it was good to see, man. It's good for me and I was forever great. I will be forever grateful for it. Yeah. It was literally just hit me black. I was in the dumps. Like, I was literally... Oh, can't imagine, like, bro. Can absolutely imagine. Oh, I was half You lost yours, you, though. Oh, <laughs> I lost... you lost your Instagram? <laughs> I lost my personal Instagram way back... Um, Back in Canberra, but it's just like a personal. So yeah, I didn't, yeah, like I, I couldn't care less. Yeah, but yeah. like <laughs> the don't way. Lie, don't lie, bro. <laughs> no, don't happy. lie, bro. I'm, I'm actually still up. Bro. All the NRL yeah. players were yeah. following, bro. <laughs> <laughs> all the girls and stuff. Lost them all. But yeah, I just remember seeing everyone resharing it, and I was like, "Fuck, what's going on here?" Yeah. And then I kind yeah, of I jumped into it. I was like, "Yeah, no, yeah, no I appreciate it so much because it literally, <clears throat> if that didn't happen and I didn't get much support, I, what's it, I probably would have had to think of a different alternative." Like it just Back to five stories. Maybe. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Won't go that far. Kind of Queen's Wharf, bro. We got take you. up stripping or something. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, 
yeah, I was, I was very lucky, man. I will be still forever grateful for that little period of time because the thing, the tough thing is too, is because I don't know why it happened. Yeah, I could be doing the exact same thing as we speak. Yeah, still worried about it. It's still, I'd still yeah, be paranoid still about it. Yeah, That's weird. Yeah. Did you? You would have emailed them and everything. Eh? You would have yep. just done everything you could, but you get nothing back. Not one response. Whatsoever. Not even a reply at all. No, That's nothing. fucking insane. Man. Nothing. Nothing. Like, I had a few people who would happen happened to them. Yeah. Give me kind of... Because there's so many different guidelines on Instagram that it could have been. Yeah. Um, like, of ways to go about it. So, I did that and nothing. Nothing. So, yeah. But, yeah. <laughs> stressful times. That was for sure. Cause uh, two months after, I just quit my job full time. Yeah. And then that happens. I was like, yeah. Pretty much, your, was pretty much your be? main, like, source of revenue too, really. Exactly right. And that, that's what I've tried to steer a little, little bit to the side of too is... Putting all my eggs into the social media basket. Yeah, diversify a bit. Especially Instagram um, wise, because 90, 95% of my work comes from Instagram. Yeah. Like, and I'm trying to. Mood. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I'm just trying to yeah. change it a bit, but it is a lot harder to change it, but it works work when you can get it. Yeah. Exactly. If it happens again, then I just, I can't expect that same support, even though I'd probably get most of it as well, which I'd still be grateful for, but yeah. I can't expect people to do that for me again. I don't think so. I've just got to make sure. I've I think you'd be surprised, bro, if people would jump on again. Yeah, especially <laughs> the way you're going at the moment. I think Newcastle's got that that little bit of a community. It's kind of a hidden I community, bro, yeah. but there's some people out there that are just willing to throw their support at everything. And you can see in the creative industry, like we talk all the time, me and you. Yeah, yeah. Always, and then like even like there's a couple of other little smaller clothing brands that I chat to and just reach out to and share this yeah, stuff kind of yeah. thing like shares go so far man yeah like, oh, oh bro 100%, it's, 100%. It's and it's free too that's exactly it right. yeah. doesn't cost you a thing like just a mention or something in the story like it, I get work from it all the time and like just someone word of mouth yeah, someone shared mouth. something on Instagram yeah, kind yeah. of thing and you're like where did you you don't ask them where they come from but yeah. then like how did you hear about me yeah. oh so and so said said your name and yeah. I'm like Perfect, bro. That's, that's, that's always the best one, hey, is when definitely. you see something come in from someone you've never heard of. <laughs> never heard of. Never heard of before. Yeah. before. They're from – you don't even know where. Exactly. Yeah, so, that's, yeah. that's the that's best what, feeling. I literally right. sent a few shirts over to the UK. Oh, some man. Some random dude. Like, <laughs> yeah. like, it was hectic. Like, yeah. And, like, UK, like, how, we, like, how did you reach Aussie, it? I don't even yeah, know. Yeah. How did you even reach this? No, nah, that's sick. <laughs> that's that was really cool. Funny because we were talking about this the other day as well, but, like, when people always – this is probably Harry and I's favourite subject. When people always come up and be like, oh, hey, man, yeah, bandwagon looks sick. <laughs> or Jacob Woods' eyes look sick, man. I'm, I've been meaning to buy some. I'll be buying t- tonight. Right. They yeah. say they're going to cop Thursday, and then they just... <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's yeah I'll, I'll, I'll get some payday, bro. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Honestly, I don't care yeah, what you, you don't do. Have to, you don't man. have to cop it's it. okay. Well, appreciate the kind words. Just, yeah, everything. just message. Even the message, bro, just to say yeah. you love it. Yeah. That's more than enough, eh? Yeah, you don't need to drop the I'll buy it. But, yeah, it only takes like a like... Comment or a share, man. It just exactly fucking right. makes the world different. Like, share, subscribe, That's guys. It, yeah. Come subscribe. on, man. <laughs> Thank you, six listeners, man. <laughs> Seven now. <laughs> <laughs> All righty, Jackie. That's pretty much it for, for the Bandwagon Bible, man. Yeah, Thank you, you so much for coming yeah, on. Yeah, Thanks for a couple of questions. Well. Oh, yeah, we got the Q&A, actually. Yeah, Hang on, you've bro. got some questions. Look here. It was a couple from, I think it might have been your brother. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just to stitch up. Fuck yeah. Uh, Why is he so good looking? Is that the one? <laughs> <laughs> he said... Why did they call you a wombat back in the day? <laughs> used to have a fat ass, actually. <laughs> Still do. That's actually way better than what um, I thought was going to be. The junk in the and he said, what's plans? <laughs> plans for 22. Plans for 22. Um, basically just growing this business. Um, obviously trying to reach out and do a couple more collaborations, which would be – I won't want to drop too much, but that would be, that'd be good. <laughs> <laughs> um, and just like r- trying to – Get in touch with businesses like not in businesses but like Westfields and stuff like that. Yeah, it's like a couple to, of small things. Yeah, I need to get bigger, like um, bigger. I need like to um, do pop up stores. Yeah, like stuff like that, markets and whatnot. Yeah, a couple of yeah. actually, we got a couple of weeks reached out to us to see if we could do it, but they reached out to us during lockdown. It's not much. Yeah, yeah it's a bit hard. But it'd be sick, man. Like that'd be yeah. cool, bro. Like we got a number if you need it too for yeah, Katara, cool. actually. That'd be um, hectic. Yeah, yeah, it was good when I, I did a because I did a mural in a. Um, you call it supplement shop in there? Yeah. yeah. And then the oh, at the um, Best Sport. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah that, was that, actually, that was great. That was cool. That was a back to the old Yeah, I was about to say, that was your old beach, yeah. yeah. Definitely. Beach um, but, yeah, the management comes through and then started asking me questions and stuff and got my details, but I just never heard anything from it. Yeah. But the thing is, with the, all those kind of jobs, you just get so much traction from it. Mm. And that's the, that's the thing. Like, I just want to get those jobs that kind of get me that more traction just so yeah. I can... Help your scale. To, yeah, exactly right, the scale. Because um, it's good in Newey because a lot of people I know... A lot of people they know they all follow it and stuff like that, but I just need to 
take it to that next step. Yeah. So I can Is there a thoughts on like a, a studio or workspace? Maybe I wouldn't say a studio workspace. I definitely need a studio somewhere, but probably just like a low key studio. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I'm going to try and work on an exhibition for early next year, which will be pretty oh, cool. Oh, that'd that's be unreal, sick, dude. So, yeah, that would be... That's um, a great idea. <clears throat> definitely, yeah. So, I'll try and work on that. That's the only tough thing, too. You want to earn money while you're doing it, which you got to put everything on hold to do an exhibition. Yeah, exactly. Um, get all the artworks ready and stuff. I've got three already, so... I should nah. just keep building to that. Yeah, but, see. Um, yeah, no, 2022 is all about... Um, so we're going from yeah, Bones... A couple from Bones Collective. Yeah, that's the Bones Collective. Yeah, I thought so. <laughs> uh, he's really going out here. <laughs> <laughs> He's right. Some serious questions here too. What is <laughs> advice for anyone looking to leave their career to pursue their dream? Well, that's a decent question. That's what I thought actually, too. Yeah. I was like, um, to be honest, just believe in yourself and just back it. Um, I struggled all the time with it, and for someone who has struggled believing in himself to drop everything and just go for it, I can't give you any more um, help or guidelines than to just give it a crack. Worst worst thing that happens is six months down the track and you're exactly the same yeah. as where you were when yeah. you started kind of thing. It's but not I, like you're ever worse off, exactly are you? Exactly right. You're never worse off. So I guarantee you in six months' time you'll be better off for it. Better off mentally-wise in your mental state too, especially if you're not enjoying what you're doing. Yeah, 100, um, happiness <coughs> first. That. And it always goes back to the saying, you never know if you don't try kind of thing. Yeah, 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 yeah 100%. Just give it a crack and then you know, just see where it takes you. you um, did you ever struggle with... Um, like people's perception of what you were doing? Big time, yeah. Yeah, yeah I did. I just – because I wanted everyone to like it, which is impossible. Yeah, exactly. Oh, you're never going to please everyone. Yeah, and when you when you start to realise that, then you just – your work just goes loose yeah. and yeah. down. Yeah, yeah. I, um, I always give Harry credit for when it comes to bandwagon because I never would have started it. Yeah. Like a, alone. alone. Could yeah. never have done it mm. without – just the – I was always way too worried about what people would fucking For sure, think. Yeah. I'm like, well, people yeah. are going to judge me. Honestly, bro. Why can I start – and Harry was just I'm like, just like, let's just do fuck it. Man. Yeah, just let's just do it. He I've just always kept, had that, but like, I've always been like, who gives a fuck? I'll do yeah, whatever yeah. I like. That's what, what – you need to have it. But 100%. Like, you need to have – or even just like a voice, like a – around you. Like yeah. say it's a family member or a mate. Yeah. They just just need that energy, bro. Yeah, just that energy just to let you do it. Because if you're just on your own, it's always going to be a struggle. to Just tell yourself that it's going to be sweet. But if you've got people in your corner – Nothing but that beats people in your corner, man. 100%. Mm. Love that. The support. And uh, we'll go with the last one here. What's your favourite creative outlet? Favourite creative outlet? Um, oh. That's a tough question, actually. I don't even know what that means. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's a tough... Who asked it? Like, same, same. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's all right. <laughs> He's got you. <laughs> I don't know. Favourite creative outlet? To be honest, I wouldn't... I, I can't even answer that. I think just... Getting in the zone and painting, to be honest. That's yeah. how I create stuff and putting the music on. The good thing is about I, I paint a lot of rappers, so I'll just chuck their music on. I used I'll to read Word Up magazine. Yeah, that's yeah, so right, and heavy deal. <laughs> you just chuck the music on and listen, listen to it. And the funny thing is when you're painting, it's just you and the fucking paintbrush. So you've got so much time to just think. And what better way than just chuck some music on and listen to some lyrics. Fuck, there's some cunts with some shit lyrics out there. <laughs> oh, <bro. laughs> Especially around now. Oh, old school is, man. No, old school is sick. But Where are all the Newcastle rappers at, man? For real. <laughs> right here. Get out there. Comment on the page, bro. <laughs> Comment, like, subscribe. <laughs> and uh, uh, who's winning? This is from Natasha. I don't know if anyone knows Natasha. Does anyone know Natasha? No, nah, don't know one. Uh, <laughs> Tom Cronin. <laughs> <laughs> who's winning tomorrow, Bulls or 76ers? Oh, Bulls, 100%. I'm on the Bulls go. bandwagon for sure. But they're killing it this year. Yeah, 100%. They're what a side, man. Roster. Um, on Zoe's on fire. Yeah, DeMar Rosen. The goat. Him. Yeah, I like people. Russo. Shoot the hoop, do the thing. <laughs> <laughs> Basketball fan. Go Carmelo Anthony, bro. When he, when he left Denver, I was over it. <laughs> <laughs> that was eight years that ago. That is a throwback. <laughs> 25 years ago. Uh, that's it, I think, boys. Yeah, that is absolutely it. I was going to stitch up with some model stuff, but I didn't oh, bring any photo yeah. stuff in. So <laughs> I was going to stitch up, but I thought maybe funny. first first time, yeah. a bit of a rough one. We've all been there. <laughs> Have we? Um, yeah, I'm pretty much a male model. <laughs> all righty, beauty, boys. Um, Jackie Watts, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for the presence, bro. We appreciate your time. Thanks for the opportunity, man. I really appreciate it. Let's go. Stay groovy, baby. Thanks for watching. Bye. Chill. <laughs>